Hi, I'm Dexter Pratt, Director of Software Development at the Eidecker Lab at UCSD, the home of Cytoscape. Our grant from the Essential Open Source Software Program funds development of the Cytoscape Explorer web-based network viewer and editor. Cytoscape software for biological network analysis, visualization, and modeling is regularly used by tens of thousands of scientists. Cytoscape is best known as a desktop application, but in the last decade, it has expanded to become an ecosystem that includes web tools and services, access to data resources, cloud data storage, and support for automation and publication. In this project, we are building Cytoscape Explorer, a friendly collaborative viewer and editor for networks. Explorer brings many core functions of the Cytoscape desktop application to the web. Our goal is to make these tools for network biology available in an intuitive package accessible to new users and to achieve smooth integration with other resources in the Cytoscape ecosystem and beyond. Our development effort is proceeding in parallel tracks, a network editor that enables simultaneous multi-user editing, like Google Docs, an alternative high-performance viewer to handle very large networks, and a core set of utilities and interface components. Let's start with the editor and the basic task of arranging the positions of the nodes in the network. This network is uninformative because its structure has no relationship to this grid layout. The user selects the layout option from the tool menu. In this case, the underlying structure of the network is a tree, and so the hierarchical layout is the best option. The user can dynamically adjust the parameters of the layout, such as direction and spacing. In the second example, a network with two highly connected hub nodes is laid out with a circular layout. And finally, in the most familiar case, a network is arranged by an algorithm that emphasizes clusters of nodes. Networks can be assigned visual styles that associate numeric or categorical values to attributes such as node size, color, and shape, or the width of the edges. The Cytoscape Explorer interface is simple, self-documenting, and focuses on the most commonly used styles, presenting a low barrier to entry for the new user. In this example, the width of the edge is made proportional to the attribute edge betweenness, then node size to radiality, and finally, node color to eccentricity. Users expect editing programs to autosave their work and ideally enable simultaneous editing by multiple users, such as with Google Docs. These two browser windows editing the same network demonstrate Cytoscape Explorer's simultaneous editing capabilities. The second window echoes the first as nodes are added, connected with edges, and both assigned a visual style. Networks can be imported from Cytoscape. In this example, the window on the left is the Cytoscape desktop application, showing a network with multiple visual styles. On the right, we select Import from Cytoscape, define the networks currently loaded in Cytoscape, and opening a copy in Explorer. As you can see, the network looks the same and can be edited further. Explorer will interface to other facilities in the Cytoscape ecosystem, 
such as user accounts, query engines, and with Index, the network data exchange. Index provides network storage, sharing, publication, and programmatic access. Here we show a network that is stored in Index and displayed in the Index user interface. We then import that network into Explore, and once again, the appearance is preserved. The Index Network Viewer brings us to the next topic, the role of Cytoscape Explorer as a general purpose viewer for networks of any size, including facilities to inspect the properties of nodes and edges and to review and edit the properties of the network itself. We implemented these features of Explorer in a new Index Viewer that was recently released to production, replacing the existing interface. The modular architecture of the viewer is designed for subsequent integration with the Explore editing interface. It uses the same up-to-date software toolchain. An important module of this new viewer is an alternative rendering engine for the display of very large networks with hundreds of thousands and millions of edges in the browser. Explore will incorporate this module enabling it to seamlessly switch to the alternative renderer as the network size increases. Here we select a small network and display it using the primary renderer that supports the full range of visual styles. And it can display larger networks, such as this one with over 1,000 edges. But with this 100,000 edge protein-protein interaction network, the interface switches to the high-performance renderer. That renderer only supports a limited set of visual styles, but as you can see, the large network can be interactively zoomed and panned. This interface also demonstrates the use of ecosystem services, in this case, a service that finds network neighborhoods. When the query result is returned, the interface again switches between the high performance renderer and the primary renderer. The small query result is displayed using the primary renderer. Clicking an individual node or edge pops up a convenient quick view of its attributes. If multiple nodes and edges are selected, their data is displayed in tabular form. Finally, the attributes of the network itself are displayed with special handling for important information such as the network description. Because Cytoscape Explorer will become our primary network display web application, it has driven the development of new standards, notably a portable graphics format. In the Cytoscape ecosystem, there are two systems for displaying networks with complex graphic styles, the Cytoscape Desktop and, on the web, the Cytoscape JS JavaScript library. As we have shown, Cytoscape Explorer is able to interface to both worlds. It does so using a controlled subset of styles that will enable matching of rendering of networks in either context. Portable graphics will be a first-class citizen in the Cytoscape ecosystem, already incorporated in the latest version of CX, the Ecosystem Network Exchange Standard. In a separate development effort, we will augment the Cytoscape desktop application with features to help users distinguish portable graphics from platform-specific styles. Cytoscape Explorer has also catalyzed the evolution of several of our internal JavaScript libraries into reusable web components. First, the large graph renderer will be used for network display in other applications, most recently in HiView, a specialized viewer for hierarchical network models. The Cytoscape Explorer Components Library is a package of common web application utilities such as the widget to open a network in Cytoscape from the browser, and another to sign in to index. The CXViz converter enables bidirectional conversion between CX and Cytoscape JS, and conversion of CX for use in the large graph renderer. Finally, the index client library streamlines the access to index networks from web applications. In sum, Cytoscape Explorer will be one of the hubs of the Cytoscape ecosystem and will be a point of entry for new groups of users. The project has been a catalyst for other development activities and is an important step in the transition of Cytoscape to the cloud. 
I'd like to acknowledge the UCSD and Toronto teams working on the Explore project and to thank the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative for their support. For questions and discussion about network analysis with the Cytoscape, iGraph, NetworkX, and other groups, check out the Network Analysis channel on the CZI Science Slack. And you can contact me at depratt at ucsd.edu. Thanks for listening.